Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our tribute run here on Elm Creek. Just finishing up our last pass of wheat on this first field. Uh, we still got to run over and seed the other field as well. Speaking of seeding, is this... Um, let me see something real quick. So this one is... Uh, is this the Vaderstadt? Yes. So this one's 8 meters wide. Another one that I've started to like a lot lately is this one, which is also eight meters wide. Um, the good thing about this one is that this one also does fertilizing at the same time, which this one does not, right? So they both run the same speed. They're, they're basically the same, um, just with the exception of the, well, the addition of the fertilizer on the other one, which is pretty cool, pretty convenient to be fair. I was trying to remember if it was any wider or not. If it was wider, I might have actually considered swapping them out. But since they're the same width, it doesn't really matter that much. We've got the sprayer for the fertilizer, and that that's going to be fine. Is there another one though that's better than even those? Not that it also does the cultivating, I don't think. I mean, there's this one, obviously, but that one you need the, the extra container for, so it doesn't really help. I guess there's this combo. It doesn't have the fertilizer, but it's also another extremely wide one. Yeah, there's just really not a lot of other good options without going like crazy big. Or again, doing the cultivating yourself, I suppose. Which is, which is doable. I mean, that might just be something I have to start getting used to in the future. Just be able to grab some really good cedars, but just doing a passive cultivating first. I mean, at the end of the day though, let's see. So if we go, this right here, eight meters, right? This one's almost double the, the width, right? So same speed, double the width. So effectively, we'll, we'll call it double. Close enough. Uh, it also does the fertilizing at the same time. So then all you do is you get a cultivator that's 15 meters wide, right? So, or at least 15 meters wide. I mean, it's more expensive, you know, from the money standpoint, but it's going to be similar, similar speeds. In fact, I'd probably even go up to this 18.2 meter one. It's the same, it's, it's the same speed, but a little bit wider. Just, you know, you get stuff like that knocked out and... And then, uh, ultimately, I think you're actually taking still less time when it's all said and done. Maybe not by much, though. Maybe it's not enough to matter. Of course, then you're still using, you are using two tractors at that point, so... There's pros and cons of all of it, I guess. Well, I guess you're not really using two tractors. If you go cultivating first and then seeding with the exact same tractor, like I said, it's going to be ultimately about the same when it's all said and done. If anything, because you can use two tractors, that actually might speed up the real time, you know, that's passed. Don't think we're going to change anything now, but just something to consider for, for future runs, I guess. Uh, one thing I can do uh, is have you go grab the roller to bring it over for that other guy to use.
Although he might not have enough time to use it. It's hard to tell. Uh, he's still got about half the field left to see. The other guy's about to swing over here. It's possible we don't actually end up needing this, but I think it's still okay to bring it over. Just trying to, trying to speed things up a bit. Can you actually run this thing? I don't know that I've ever tried with a semi before. Ha! Oh my goodness, dummy! Nope, stop. What are you doing? This wasn't a problem when, um... When the field was... Um... When that was in our field. But now it's definitely a problem that we're having to deal with a bit. That is... I don't know that I've ever tried this with a semi before. I guess it's just pulling. I mean, there's not really much else going on. That's annoying. Dude, why did you have to do that? I guess I've got to do that bottom part before I start start seeding next time. Seeding's really the only thing that would cause major problems. I mean, obviously, we mulched a tiny bit. But the mulching is, is not... I'm not too worried about that. It's really just the seeding. That is potentially problematic. Okay, well in that case, then let's have you fold up. Uh, let's have you stop for a second. Uh, we're gonna have you go over and start doing some more mulching on that other field. Just to try to get that wrapped up. possible the semi could do the mulching too because again there's not really any moving parts it's just rolling nope see see i caught you this time hopefully if i get a little bit of a buffer here you won't do that anymore I mean, all I'll do is I'll just reseed that uh, soybeans next time we do soybeans. So uh, it's fine. It's just we'll just ignore it for a bit and then reseed it. You gonna turn around this time?
All right, good job, buddy. So you got to weed, fertilize this, harvest the soybeans, harvest the cotton. So a few things to do next month for sure. It's probably probably our biggest month, right? So All right, how's the mulching guy doing? He just finished. Nice. Perfect timing. Okay, well then we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to next month. Yep. <laughs> Would help if we get some money. And we're going to have to borrow a lot of money this time. Should be the last piece of equipment we really need, though, unless we see something that's like a good upgrade over what we've got currently. All right, we'll go with that. Start you up. Um, uh, let's see. Nope, no, no such luck as far as getting what we wanted. That's all right. We'll just get us a brand spanking new one. Oh, I actually need a little bit more money. I was thinking it was seven 
eighty something. It's like eight forty seven. All right, Cotton Harvester, you are ours now. I mean, there's literally no benefit of this over the case, but it's John Deere, and I want it, so <laughs> that's good enough for me, I suppose. There we go. All right, you're good to go. Um, you're doing your thing. You are chilling for a minute. You're almost where we want you. At least we don't have to worry about uh, how long it takes to do now. And honestly, we might start keeping our eyes open for other cotton fields we can... Maybe just a little bit more cotton, just since we don't care about going over the hour anymore. First cotton in our brand new harvester. I like it.
Have to make a trip to get some more supplies soon. Actons will already be over here. We might do that here in a moment. I'm going to start you over here. Sure, if we'll have enough fertilizer for this next field or not. We'll be close. Alright, actually, I could have made you go vertical already, but that's alright. Would be nice if the John Deere went faster just to justify the extra expense, but it's all good. Alright, so we need you to go grab the trailer. We're definitely not going to have enough fertilizer. See if you're able to do the mulching. Nope, does not connect. I guess it's a three point, isn't it? Yep, I see that now.
All right, not too bad. Let's get you to go pick up some more herbicide, please. Same thing for you. Go pick up some more fertilizer. And then we'll get you... Where are you at? There you are. Moved over to the other field. But we're going to do that. I'll do that between episodes. When we come back, uh, more harvesting soybeans and cotton. Um, and we'll go from there. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.